Hello, my name is Crescent Muhammad. I am the daughter and only daughter of Gladys Muhammad, no matter what anyone else says, okay? <laughs> I made the joke about being her only daughter because she is a mother to so many people in this community um, and also my aunts, other family members, like that is just who she is. Yes, I've been in South Bend my entire life. My mother and father came here in I think the late 40s and I was a kid. And I, I grew up in a part of West Side part of South Bend called the Lake. And we were like family. And it's just my home and I love it. Gladys really stands as Mama Gladys, uh, Mayor Gladys, everything that South Bend could be and should be. Gladys Muhammad is a community leader. I tend to describe her as a community organizer, an advocate. It's literally in her DNA. She can work with anyone, and then she understands everybody. There's not a lot of people who can do that, who can look past what a person is currently going through and see that person's need and help them move to the next level. I had helped found a shelter for battered women and I had worked there for quite a few years. One of the ladies that was helping with the shelter, her husband was the mayor, and they asked me to work for the city of South Bend. So I went to work for the mayor. It's funny because there's been so many different things that she's been a part of in this community. She's been an advisor to almost every mayor we've had, primarily is the revitalizing of neighborhoods. She worked for South Bend Heritage and did two things. One, South Bend Heritage preserves beautiful historic housing and builds historic housing. And she was a community organizer to make sure that the needs of the community were matched with the housing that was built and that was sold. I remember her talking about that, that you know, we just need more people who really care for everyone, not just a, a self-interest to try to do this or to do that, but they really care about what happens in South Bend. And I think that's been Gladys's philosophy for a long time. She legitimately brings people together, right? And she's great at highlighting issues, explaining why these issues are important. People should have decent homes. And there are the people who have means who want to help, right? And so like being that bridge is, is vital. I think back to the work that's happened on West Washington Street in an area that was heavily redlined. And you know, that's the FHA program that basically designated geographic pockets of minority groups as uh, not safe to lend it. And so Mama Gladys and a group of community members worked together to make sure that the West Washington Corridor again received lending so that black residents could have opportunities at creating generational wealth. I didn't really learn about redlining until later on in life, but I knew that we didn't have a park. Once you cross those railroad tracks, it was different. People lived a little better. I grew up saying, okay, we, we want the same things that everybody else want. And we had to do something about it. And that's when we created the WWCRP and that slogan, self-respect and dignity. You know, I think, but not for South Bend Heritage, but not for the work that Gladys has done since 1974. South Bend wouldn't be in the position it is to sort of build on its past successes. So she's just, I don't know, a phenomenal lady, very phenomenal lady.